So, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <coughs> Let me just clear my throat, shall I? Uh, shall we start again? Good afternoon. Uh, we are back again. First of three uploads today on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you stick a thumbs up on this video. But most importantly, make sure you follow my vlog channel. The second vlog will be out tomorrow. And that is going to be a little apartment tour, a little surrounding area tour. It's proper nice where I live. I like it a lot. And um, yeah, it's the posh end of town, should we say. It's kind of nice. But yeah, I'm going to uh, give you a little guided tour of the gaff. It's quite nice. It do. It's um, yeah, it's all right, man. The views are all right. And it's all good. So make sure you subscribe to that channel. I will be doing a live stream on there tonight as well. So um, that channel is not football related. Don't want to talk anything about football on that channel. So um, literally get yourselves over there. 3.2K on there now as well. So thank you very much. Do appreciate it. It's gone up literally over a thousand in the last week. So thanks very much for all the mad support on that. But we are going to talk about Madison in this video. Uh, later on, I'm talking about Becky B as well. My specialist subject. Uh, Good job I've got plenty of the Cruz Campos in the fridge because he angers me, that guy. But we're not going to get triggered right now. We're going to talk about Madison. And uh, he is still linked to a move with Ar uh, to Arsenal. He's still um, apparently wanting to leave Leicester and join us. He's his chosen destination, apparently. And Leicester are actually open to selling him. So there's no reason why this won't get done, apart from the fact that it's 60 million quid. And that is a hell of a lot of money. It's a lot of money to um, to spend out on Madison. And I, it always makes me wonder as well, like, you know, Leicester are very good at doing business. They're very good at, um, you know, selling their players on for a big fee. They've done it with Mares. They've done it with uh, Chilwell. They've done it with Harry Maguire. And it looks like Madison's going to be the next one in that line. But I don't know whether we, uh, whether we will be spending 60 million quid out on him. One thing I do know is I would take him in a heartbeat. But like I said, 60 million quid is a lot of money. Um, and like the English tax on top, like, you know, he's not a 60 million pound footballer, is he? Let's be honest here. He, he scores goals. He creates goals. I think he's a quality footballer, but is he 60 million quid? Probably not. Um, do I care? No, because if he joins us, I'll be absolutely over the moon. Um, obviously I'd like Grealish. We ain't going to get Grealish. So for me, Madison's the next best thing. So go and get Madison, get him into the team, integrate him into the team, get it done as quick as we can, because like we started our pre-season the other day, lost to Hibernian, and um, it just kind of highlights everything that's been going wrong at this football club. And you know, a lot of people, including myself, were peed off with the fact that we did lose that game. And you know, a lot of people say, no, but it's only a pre-season. No, it's not about the pre-season. It's about the continuation of absolute dross. You know, we're still seeing the likes of um, Bellerin and you know um, Reese Nelson and players like that that are still at the football club. El Nenny, William, you know. And it's like, why don't we just go and get these deals done? Why don't we go and sign Madison? If we want him, go and get him. You know, Leicester are obviously open to selling him. I think he's fallen out of favour with Brendan Rodgers. I think there's a little bit of a rift between the two of them. And um, he was sat on the bench a lot last season. <coughs> Excuse me. He was sat on the bench a lot last season. So, you know, I think they are open to selling him. And I do believe this story, if I'm honest. You know, it's, um, it's always nice to read a story and think, oh, I actually believe this one. Because he is out of favour at Leicester. He's not their go-to man. He's not the main man at Leicester. And um, they'll be happy with 60 million. Of course they will, because it's a lot of money. But then we get ourselves a quality footballer. I'm all for Madison joining Arsenal. I think that I think he'd take us up a lot of levels because number one, he can score goals from midfield, and we don't have a goal scorer that can do that. Number two, he can create quite a lot. Again, where's the creativity in our midfield? Non-existent. But not only that, I do think he's very good off the ball. Like, you know, I see somebody the other day saying, oh, he's rubbish off the ball, like in somebody else's comments. I was like, he ain't. He's actually really good. Watch him off the ball. He actually works and um, he grafts for the team. And I think, like, listen, no disrespect to Leicester. They're a massive football club and they've obviously won the Premier League more recently than we have. But if there's a choice of Arsenal, even banter Arsenal as it is now, or Leicester, I'm going Arsenal. It's Arsenal. Do you know what I mean? And I know we're living off a reputation and that, but you know that's all we've really got is the reputation of what we used to be. But if I was Madison, I'd be sitting there thinking, yeah, I fancy a bit of Arsenal. I could follow in the footsteps of uh, other number tens at the football club, like Bergkamp, for example. Uh, not the, not the uh, the other one. 
uh, Burkamp, the proper one, but um, he could potentially come in and elevate us levels, which is what, and I'm not comparing him to Burkamp, by the way, because Burkamp is my favourite ever Arsenal player. But what I'm saying is like when Burkamp came in, he took us up a level, a lot of levels. And I think Madison could do the same. He he, he can um, he can come in and, and galvanise that midfield, create for the strikers, and I think we'd see a better Arsenal. But then again, saying all of that, it is Mikel Arteta as manager. So I don't know. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Like at the end of the day, I don't even know what our business plan is, what our strategy is. Edu was out with Raul last night. They were in Monaco together having dinner on a yacht or something. And it's like, do you even care? Like, do you genuinely care about this football club? Because yes, I know you've got to eat and I know you've got to like, have food in the system and that. But why are you meeting up with him? Right, I just find that a little bit weird, especially during the transfer window. I find it a little bit baffling, a little bit strange. And um, let's not forget, this guy is alleged to have taken money out the till um, on the Pepe till. So maybe Edu was involved as well. I don't know. Like I said, allegedly, uh, we don't want no libel over here. But, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about Madison. Like I said, I'm all for him. I think he's quality. I genuinely do. He's not 60 million quid. But if you want to buy the player and you want him that badly... You go and pay the money. You stick the money on the table and say, give us the player. And um, hopefully we can get him because, like I said, he would make us a lot, lot better. Then if you add in Thomas Party behind him and then one other, whoever that may be, maybe a while, um, all of a sudden our midfield is light years clear of what it was last season. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But it'll probably drag on all summer. Um, it'll probably not happen. And uh, yeah. I think there is a bit of truth in this one, though. I genuinely do. And I think that it's somebody we should be looking to buy as well. Like, why shouldn't we be looking at Madison? Like, yes, we want Grealish. Of course, everybody wants Grealish. But let's be realistic here. We ain't going to pay 90 or 100 million quid for Jack Grealish. So let's go and get Madison and uh, get him in the team, man. But like I said, let me know what you guys think of all of that. Leave that in the comment section down below. Uh, make sure you are sticking a big thumbs up on the video subscribe and make sure you subscribe to the more league gunner channel as well um that link is in the description of the video so go and check that out let's boost that channel right up i want that on 10k as quick as it can get there and uh, i'm looking forward to doing all these vlogs every other day man it's going to be sick uh, the house tour will be out tomorrow if you haven't checked out the first vlog it was me actually getting to spain um after the uh, after the game and that the other night the england game so yeah i went ice skating in that one as well that was kind of funny who knew that I could still ice skate <laughs> 20 years later? So, yeah, go and check all of that out and make sure you circulate the video around as well. That'd be sick if you could do that. And um, I'll be back again at about 6 o'clock and then again at 10 o'clock on here. So uh, two more transfer videos to come. And, um, yeah, it's all good, man. Make sure as well you follow my Instagram. I will be putting that giveaway out there. I just totally forgot that it's been a manic seven days. So uh, that giveaway will be put up on there very soon. Um, but yeah, make sure you go and follow my Instagram, Lee Gunner82. Follow all the socials down below. And um, yeah, like I said, leave your thoughts and comments on Madison. Would you take him? Is he worth 60 mil? Who else should we get if we don't want him? Leave it all down in the comments. And I'll be back again at about six o'clock tonight. So we're out of here. I'll tear out. <laughs>